what is up people how's it going back again with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how chat gpt can make a gui application using python or how chat gpt is getting the idea how to make a gui application using kiwi okay so uh, basically i just opened chat gpt and uh, i wanted to try uh, how uh, chat gpt can understand kiwi okay so i just uh, first of all i just uh, give a command um, make a tic tac toy game with gui using python kiwi let me zoom in okay here you can see then it provides me this piece of code okay now i'm going to copy this piece of code and if i run this in test.py file in my vs code let me save this and i'm going to open up the terminal let me clear the terminal and here if i type python test.py here we got a window okay this is totally machine generated or chat gpt generate this code okay if i click this button here we got an error the error is a uh, attribute error and i'm i just copied this error and paste it right here okay you can see this code shows following error here i pasted the error then it corrects me the code then i just recopied this code and here let me paste it i'm going to save this and rerun this file if i click this button here we got an another error and again i am just going to copy this error okay and here you can see i pasted the error okay name error name layout is not defined okay and then it just corrected the code okay here you can see now i'm going to copy this code and paste it here let me save this and rerun my file okay here you can see it always gives the wrong output okay now let me close this this time there is no error message but the application is not working properly so i just say to chat gpt whenever i click on a button it calls another button's text okay then uh, it provides me some information that lambda function is not properly replaced or something like that then it generates a code or recorrect or correct the code okay then i'm going to copy this piece of code the corrected code and paste it right here and let me save this and i'm going to rerun this file and if i click now you can see it is giving the right output okay x o and x here you can see player x wins okay guys i hope you got the idea how chat gpt understands kiwi or how chat gpt can generate a gui application and how intelligent chat gpt is okay now here you can see here i got another file and in this file i just said create a tic-tac-toy game with gui using python kiwi after this chat okay now it just gave me the corrected code this code is fully functional okay it it just gave me the first code okay if i copy this code and let me paste it here and rerun my test.py file okay now you can see a really really optimized or um, beautiful or elegant looking GUI okay now we can see ChatGPT can learn from your inputs okay so you can make a better um, looks or better behavior of your application by uh, using ChatGPT and uh, you can 
uh, teach it how you can how it can produce a better output to you okay if i click this here you can see it always provides correct info okay now okay here you can see x wins here this is x wins so i hope you got the idea how chat gpt really how chat gpt is doing here okay now in the first conversation let me show you at the bottom here i say i just asked chat gpt to convert this app to android apk so what it does actually it provides me the information here how to convert this application to apk and it generates a builder.spec file okay completely completely functional builder.spec file which is really amazing okay you can see it is okay then i said uh, what to do next then it provides rest of the steps unfortunately it can't deploy your project or uh, unfortunately it cannot deploy your project um, because of some limitations like it cannot deploy a project a, a project uh, we know Belozer cannot deploy a project in a, any other machine other than linux okay and i hope you got the idea how to use ChatGPT to modify your kv application or correct your course or debug your application so that's all today's video keep watching goodbye